Now going over to the Culture Broad Podcast, you have Chelsea Handler having a meltdown over the Harris Butker speech. Now, she is a famous comedian, some might say. My, she never made me laugh, but granted, that's not my cup of tea. Though I'm not British, so perhaps a better metaphor would be, that's not my cup of coffee. Or copious amounts of caffeine energy drink, or some more interesting pun than that. But nevertheless, this was first brought to us thanks to Libs of TikTok. In which she says, quote, Chesley Handler is not coping well with Harris Butker's speech. When all the worst people are mad, you know you're doing something right. He's a famous sports balls player who was hired for a commencement speech. And he told people, rudimentary, simply said, one of the best things in life you could be, come, is a parent. Which, I mean, the fact that that's become controversial is, shows how much culture has declined in the United States, at least. Now, I do apologize. I, sh I, I scrolled too soon. If you're watching this, I should have a big disclaimer. This might, I'm not saying there's 100% certainty this will make your earballs bleed in terms of just viscerally disgust, but if you've ever seen The Ring, like I, I've actually never seen The Ring, the movie, but I've seen the little VHS cover, that little video back in the day. She reminds me of the girl crawling out of the TV from The Ring, only with blonde hair. So disclaimer, your discretion is advised just because viscerally it's, if you're eating, don't eat. It's very, it's not very appealing, so to say. And if you're just tuning in, you're quite fortunate to not see this. Though I apologize, you will have to hear her voice, which, interestingly enough, this might be the two or three times of the year where their voice is not better than mine. Or, so I'd like to say. But without too much further ado, go ahead and, ooh, expand the screen so it just takes up the whole screen. I apologize. As you may have heard, as you may have heard, there's a man by the name of Harrison Butker who's talking more than I typically like for a male. He's a kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, and I learned that kickers rarely get tackled. So based on his misogynistic rant during a recent commencement address, I'm guessing this Bible thumper thumped himself a little too hard with his Bible and gave himself CTE. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world and embrace one of the most important titles of all homemaker first of all yeah that's that's terrible how, how could he dare suggest that harrison you're a kicker so you have one important part of your body and it's not your fucking brain i can tell you that my beautiful wife isabel would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother isabel's dream of having a career might not have come true but if you ask her today if she has any regrets on her decision she would laugh out loud without hesitation and say heck no isabel please blink twice if you need us to call for help but the real kicker is that Harrison Butker's mother is a renowned physicist who has a degree in chemistry and a master's in medical physics. So, who paid for all those uses? Ask his mom what was her greatest accomplishment in life. Probably not going to talk about any of those fancy degrees on the wall or her career. She's a good mom. More often than not, they're going to say the greatest accomplishment in life is successfully raising their children. Many men will also say the same for them. Youth athletic team fees and uniform fees and equipment fees when Harrison was a kid so he could grow up to have a career making millions of dollars for fucking kicking things? My guess is a working woman. Harrison, this is the first time I've heard about you and hopefully the last. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and do what your fellow teammate does and just pretend like you don't exist. I don't talk to Harrison all year long, man. I just let him do his thing. We, we sit right beside each other in team meeting and I don't say one word to him. <laughs> huh. Cliche friend or pseudo friend throwing her under the bus. Feels like a, I mean, again, another fan, another fascinating instance where she is as wise as she is beautiful, and yeah, it's like a swamp creature. Now, granted, she could always have the caveat. Oh yeah, I was just kidding. Which, no, she seems pretty irate, which is kind of most given her age, demographics, and her lifestyle. It would describe most people in that area. Now, my first video got about a million views and fourteen thousand likes in the first day. Uh, one of the first comments comes from Paul Zupa saying, quote, Comedian Chelsea Handler isn't funny and this video proves she isn't, she isn't intelligent either. It does prove how miserable and easily triggered she is by anyone who dares suggest that raising children could bring joy. She's deflecting from her own bad life choices. I got 660 likes. Tomi Laharan says, Why does she look 100 though? It's sad liberalism is a cruel disease, unquote. Getting 1.1 thousand likes. Me says, That's exactly why I like Trump. The most evil people alive hate him, getting 897 likes. Pastor Pratt says, Chelsea Handler also told 50 Cent that she would pay his taxes. He would just vote for Biden. Chelsea Handler is a deranged lunatic, getting 755 likes. Which, yeah. Let's see. 
Robbie Starbuck says, when I think of life devoid of meaning, I think of people like Chelsea Handler. Getting 663 likes. Now, in her defense, she does bring joy to dozens of women at home. Or, more accurately, old women, career-driven, probably, single, with cats. Now, Paratrooper Brady says, why does she always look at Shady Cosby getting 206 likes? Leo Mike says, Harrison Butker doesn't, couldn't have a better endorsement than Chelsea Handler's hate. Getting 302 likes. Yeah. here. Brandon, let's go. Bridges says, I really don't put much stock in what the opinion she has. There's a picture of, I'm not sure, it might be a picture of Chelsea Handler. It says, Chelsea Handler convincing you she's happy after pleasuring herself for the seventh time today, getting 165 likes, which was a reference to a viral video she had last year where she described her life. Again, everyone said, oh yeah, she was just joking. But she basically described her life as being an old single female living at home, pleasuring herself, both with food and other food, illegal drugs, and self-pleasure in the bedroom, I'm trying to think of an appropriate way to say this, a completely, a complete life devoid of pretty much any human interaction, it seemed like, and just narcissism up the wazoo. Like, all she cares about is herself. And of course, you know, anyone that critiqued her said, oh yeah, she's great. No, they said, oh no, she was just joking. And she also bragged about I think, killing kids as well, which I'm not sure how evil you have to be about to brag about that. Going down, you also have American AF saying, who the F is Chelsea Handler saying 257 likes. How blessed that person is not to know. Let's see. John says, Chelsea Handler's triggered by Butker's speech. Classic. When the loudest whiners are upset, you know the truth is being spoken. I got 185 likes. Rob Coates says, she looks bad. I'm sorry, but you look horrible. Chelsea getting 171 likes. Let's see here. Tim Young says, just a reminder that not only did Chelsea Handler post a video of her being eat on, but she also admitted she thought the sun and moon were the same thing until she was in her 40s. Gained 632 likes. George Santos says, with a face aging like milk, I'd be mad every day. Gained 601 likes. Hey. Rob Coates says, liberal women like Chelsea Handler are in the top five things what's wrong with Western countries. That's my opinion. I'll stand with it 100%. Gained 208 likes. See, there's any country in statements. There's got, there are... Let's see. Kate Cantanda says, Old childless Botox lady is big mad. In 48 likes. Hmm. Fascinating. I don't see any contrarian statements. And again, she does have dozens of fans, probably. Here. But no, in terms of... Yeah, I'm scrolling down. Oh, unfortunately, there's more pictures of her, which are this really disgusting. I'm, I'm not, I sh again, I should put a bigger warning label. This may cause you want to want to scratch out your eyes. Which, again, I, I have to say, all this is temporary. Don't, you know, don't worry. It's almost done. Here. But yeah, it looks like, as youth might say, she got ratioed, to say the least. And, yeah, it is fascinating to see also the NFL you know, completely said, oh yeah, this guy doesn't represent our values when the NFL employees millions or not millions thousands how many people have worked there throughout the years many men who abuse women and take copious amounts of illegal drugs that's that's who the nfl usually hires and they don't apologize for that but they apologize for this guy for espousing family values and saying how raising kids is one of the most precious things you can do in your life that kind of shows you a face mask falling off the nfl pun obviously intended Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, bro, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.